Hello guys, so, bersama saya lagi dalam Alright Nopo Channel ya. Kalau kita lihat sekarang ini ya jumlah orang yang datang di dataran merdeka semakin ramai sahabat-sahabat semua, termasuklah pemimpin-pemimpin kerajaan uh, dan juga uh, yang kita tunggu-tunggu yaitu uh, Puan Nurul Iza, uh, mantan ahli parlimen di Permatang Pau. Jadi apa kata Nurul Iza sahabat-sahabat semua? Mari kita dengar ya bersama-sama kenyataan beliau yang saya percaya ini adalah satu uh, kenyataan yang berani ya untuk meng mengkritik ya mengkritik tindakan kejam tidak berperi kemanusiaan daripada tentera Zionis. Tapi sebelum kita menonton video ini jangan lupa juga untuk terus support Orang Nepal Channel dengan cara tekan butang subscribe, like dan share sembari kita ikuti. Uh, dan juga tonton video ini bersama-sama sahabat-sahabatku uh, di luar sana. of Viva Palestina together with my care and two very established organizations that have helped deliver humanitarian and rehabilitation aid to Palestine, Palestinians, Gaza and the West Bank and I've actually uh, worked with them in the past uh, when I was member of parliament and I think today one of the most important things we have to realize as the ongoing war uh, escalates is number one it started as an occupation and we cannot deny the fact that now full-fledged genocide that has been done and you have noted the series of war crimes been done by none other than israel and we view america and israeli allies the uk and the eu as being complicit by first and foremost america's veto of the un resolution brought by israel by brazil to ensure a humanitarian pause takes place so i think that's why malaysians are together because we cannot um, but stay, we cannot stay silent in the face of the ongoing um, war crimes and genocide. You're talking about 50% of, of those in Gaza are children. And you're talking about even the right of self-defense. This has completely been denounced and, and destroyed by the sheer scale of Israel's transgressions of international humanitarian law. Now, I want to state here, it's not just about an issue that affects Muslims because Palestinian Christians, churches, along with mosques, places of worship and UN safe targets have been have been attacked and have been bombed by Israel. And that's why I feel it's very important for Malaysia and the whole world to lend its voice to first and foremost not allow um, those perpetrators to escape unscathed, but the immediate immediate cessation of hostilities as it was being delivered by Israel, we're talking about only 20 trucks being allowed in, they bombed the Jenin area, the Jenin refugee camp as well as hospital. So I want to bring back here to the words of Josh Paul, the former US State Department official who resigned, who resigned because he was against American decision yeah, to continue to militarize Israel. I want to state here, so many, so many American legislators themselves are against Israel's continuing crimes against humanity and they are being silenced. That's why I want to say again, it's very important for us to place in context, we use um, international mechanisms, whether this is the ICC, International uh, Criminal Court, which has begun investigations, we must delegitimize Israel. We must defend Israel because they cannot do this without the support of the US. And we must defend Palestine. So I say this because violence begets violence. 
if we allow this genocide to continue, all extremist forces, and I repeat, all extremist forces everywhere will be strengthened further. And we do not want that. So thank you to the media. But it's very crucial that we come together at this important juncture to do what we can to end the murder of innocent civilians and the genocide. I also repeated earlier the use of white phosphorus by Israel, confirmed by the, uh, the Human Rights Watch. The bombing of you know, places of worship confirmed and denunciated by WHO as well as the UN. So we have legitimacy. What we need to do is to spread the word and I hope that we understand there are very serious and lethal repercussions if the current moral compass isn't set right. Thank you. All right. Uh, thank you. Uh, you mentioned uh, to have uh, more just nations in upcoming negotiations between Israel and Palestine. More just? More just nations. Uh, no, more just solutions. Uh, for negotiations in the future? If you talk about negotiations right now, I quote the words of Aaron David Miller. Aaron David Miller has been instrumental in various negotiations between Israel and Palestine. He himself has admitted that America has acted so much in bias in favor of Israeli that it went at the expense of an acceptable peaceful resolution between the two countries. So for me again, that's why we go back, you must end the occupation, you must go back to the main issues of justice. There can never be peace if you do not go back to the principles of justice and Israel is not a state that is respecting international laws, it is an oppressive terrorist state that is not helping anybody achieve safety and security. Okay? Thank you. Ya, Alhamdulillah sebenarnya saya sangat tersentuh dengan kata-kata Encik Goh Kiat Ping dan juga Mr. Z, ya, salah seorang aktivis kerana ia menunjukkan dan puan kavitasi itu kerana kita menunjukkan sokongan kita ini merentasi agama merentasi kaum ia ber berpaksikan keadilan dan kalau kita dapat menunjukkan di Malaysia ya negara yang cintakan keadilan bersuara secara satu ya untuk menolak uh, jenayah perang yang dilakukan terhadap warga Palestin oleh Israel dan mem meminta agar setemerta ya adanya gencatan senjata dan bukan pihak dia bukan soal kedua-dua pihak sekarang ini menyerang ia melihat Gaza dan West Bank yang tidak ada kena-mengena daripada peringkat awal mengikuti segala arahan oleh Israel tapi mereka juga ya di, uh, ditindas dan anak-anak kecil, anak-anak uh, yang tidak bersalah dibunuh. Jadi kerana itu uh, pada saya itulah mesej kita bersama dan saya ucapkan terima kasih kepada sebuah pihak media yang bersama dalam hasrat ini. Sudah tentu kerajaan uh, sedang mengusahakan dan kita boleh dengar daripada kenyataan Wisma Putra termasuklah Perdana Menteri sendiri. Tapi yang penting adalah semua ni suara-suara moral rakyat kita yang bersuara dan um, menyatukan uh, usaha untuk membantras um, kekecaman kezaliman rejim Zionis. Okay. Thank you. Terbaik sahabat semua. Ha, itu dia antara pendirian ya, pendirian mantan ya ahli parlimen Permatang Pau Puan Nurul Iza Anwar ya selepas himpunan Solidarity ya rakyat Malaysia untuk memberikan sokongan yang hashtagnya adalah Free for Palestine di dataran Merdeka Kuala Lumpur sebentar tadi sahabat-sahabat semua. Dan kita uh, seperti mana kita sebagai rakyat Malaysia yang cintakan keamanan, kehar keharmonian. Ya, jadi kita mendukung ya supaya perkara ini harus diberhentikan segera. Ya, pembunuhan beramai-ramai tidak bertanggungjawab kekejaman ini ya telah mengganggu ataupun melanggar undang-undang antarabangsa sahabat-sahabat semua. Jadi kita berharap ya tindakan ini dihentikan. Dan kekejaman ini juga turut dihentikan. Jadi terima kasih itu sedikit pandangan saya. Bagaimana pula dengan anda, sahabat-sahabat di luar sana, anda boleh berikan komen dalam ruangan komen. Jadi terima kasih. Izinkan saya untuk mengundurkan diri dan seperti biasa, peribahasa mengatakan tak apa pun kangkap dua tahun keinginan dalam bahasa belanja. Tepuk dada, tanya selera. Sekian jadi daripada Orang Napa Channel. Saya kita berjumpa lagi. Bye bye.